<coughs> what is up guys today we have got some more Forza 5 and going straight into the episode with a race as I don't have much time to record this right now so it may be a shorter episode so yeah, getting in straight with the track day cars thing I bought this car last episode so remember to go and check that out if you didn't watch it and we're on a chase event right now so we have to get there are some slow cars and we have to overtake the faster cars. There's two other cars against me, just a bit ahead of me if you look on the mini-map. <clears throat> mini-map on the bottom left. So yeah, we've got to overtake them. One of them is in front of me right now. So we may only have time for maybe two races this episode, pushing it three, because I really don't have much time to record this. So, yes, it's a shorter episode here. Sorry about that. Just wanted because I upload daily on this channel. I don't want to like not bring out something. Like it will not meaning like I just want to get something out and being not trying to put effort in the video. But I just want even if it is a shorter video, then I don't want to like sh not upload and then people think why why haven't uploaded. So yeah, that's that out of the way. We're already in first place now. So yeah, put in the comments. If you want me to improve the difficulty, maybe if you think I can win it on the harder difficulty. Even if I'm coming in silver position, it doesn't really matter because I could be getting more coins still from having come in, in silver position. So yeah, quick start to the episode and a lot has just been said. So if you do enjoy this video or you didn't uh, you are enjoying this but you've missed the other videos of Forza then there should be an annotation on the screen to check out the playlist which will open a new window where you can check the playlist hang on a second there we go I'm sorry about pausing that a second just something came up on my computer and I didn't want it to stop the recording so yeah, remember to check players and also subscribe, which will also open a no window to subscribe. So the video will carry on playing, because that will, I always do appreciate it. I'd also like to say thank you, because just today, just about to record this video, I did hit 30 subscribers, which I know isn't much, but I've only been doing this channel for like two weeks now. So it's been a great start, and like in like a couple of videos ago, I was thanking you for 15 subscribers. So we're gaining subscribers fairly quickly, which is great. Great progress on my channel. Oh god. This is this is just an easy race. We're absolutely killing them. Can't even... S oh, that's why I shouldn't look behind me. Just crash. I like this car. I think I've made the right decision. It's got very good handling and it's fairly fast as well. I've definitely picked the right decision. Pick the right car even. It's took over so many cars in this race. As well. Even though that doesn't count to anything. And there we go. Coming down. Final straight now. And boom. Finishing kind of sideways as well. So that was a really successful race. So yeah, we'll definitely have enough time for another one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do one race, but I'll see how time is looking after this. I just needed to check the time. That is why I'm in a rush. So yeah, we'll definitely have enough time for another race, maybe pushing it if we do one final race. We'll have a look how long this race is though. So yeah, let's get into it. Leveled up affinity level now. Now we get a five percent payout bonus for any car I drive that is owned by KTM which is pretty cool I have got my BMW affinity level really high now as I had that M3 so if there's a nice BMW in the future to buy then that will be a big choice oh it has to be Nürburgring doesn't it and I'm running out of time I don't this probably won't be the whole track because that does take like eight minutes so I don't think I don't think there is a race on the like the kind of like campaign missions that, well not missions races like the ones they tell you to do where it does the whole Nurburgring but this might be one I'm not sure it's probably a shortened down version where it cuts some corners 
Yeah, because it's only 3.2 miles. And it's a signature event. Looks like there's a lot of credits on the line as well. 7,200. I think that's the most that we would have won. So it looks... So we're against all of the same car. KTM X-Bar, was it? Or Crossbar? I can't remember. There was There is a car called a Crossbar on the X-Bar, I think. So I got mixed up. So we're all in the same car. So no one's got a advantage... So it's just who's the best driver, really. And hopefully we can win this. Oh, God. May need to... Oh, no, we're all right. Thinking of rewinding that, but managed to recover it. We've got three laps of this as well. So this is probably going to be a long race, which will finish the episode off. A nice power bonus for this race as well, because it is a long race. I would have preferred a shorter race at the time of being in a rush as well. It's probably the worst thing. So in 8th place now. We are struggling a bit as we've got no advantage over anyone here. This car does sometimes drift a bit as well. Which I didn't think would happen. As it's got a lot of... Well it should have a lot of grip. It's probably just my driving though. So it looks like all of the cars in front... Well it is... All the cars in front are in just one big pack, so we could just take over them all in one go here. Well, most of them. Well, we took over two cars, now it's a bit split up now. We haven't even done one lap yet, and it's already a minute in. Fifth place now, just two more cars. Cars, my words wouldn't come out then. I think we'll get the gold here, we've got loads of time to do it. We've nearly got it already it was 7200 credits bonus as well plus the payout bonuses from like difficulties assists and now the 5% affinity boost which will help oh god the grass grass is really really not good to go on in this game no oh god yeah, going to have to use a rewind feature there. That wasn't even my fault, that was just an aggressive driver tar going against me. So I'm going to go, there he is again. I'm going to go a bit more out wide this time. So I skip the tyres. I'm in third place now, which is fine. I don't mind finishing third place, but I'd like to get ahead a bit so we're more safe and not lose our position. Second place now, first place got a comfortable lead. This track is pushing time really, but I'll obviously have to record this, like have time. Heavy braking, I was a bit late on the brakes there. Sometimes you can't see the brake points on this game. I don't know if it's just me, but... Yeah, I don't exactly always follow the driving line, so sometimes it's quite hard to see the actual braking point. And especially when the sun comes out on this game. Which is a nice feature, adds more immersion and makes it more real real life experience. But it can be annoying. This is a very nice track in this car. Loads of nice long corners. Let's check behind, even though that's a bad thing to do. We've also got rewinds we can use as well, which is good. It just makes you feel like if you make a mistake, you can always recover from it. But I wouldn't ever use it like to get perfect race and just reuse it all the time because that's just really just pretty much cheating, isn't it? He's he's doing well. He's going just the same speed as me. I'm not gaining or losing any time on him. Although I did take that corner very fast. Oh, now, we, now we've taken over him. First place. Now we've got to pretty much, uh, pretty much have a clean lap and then we've won this race. And I'll end the episode there. Good turn, it says. Here's where I hit the tyres on the first lap. Didn't hit them there as there's no one... Oh, God, on the grass. When you try and turn onto a road when you're on the grass, where you just 
drift off. Coming up to the finish line, but of course we've got another lap to do. On the final lap now. See if we can beat our best lap, which is a 2.16. Of course I've got an open, open way ahead of me because I'm in first place. Because I did get caught up behind first at one point in that lap. And of course, in the first lap I had to take over lots of people. Oh god, that's I took that corner badly. This is I don't think I'm gonna beat the lap time in this. I'm taking horrible corners. There we go, that's a bit better. Very comfortable lead. It looks like first must have crashed maybe. Because he was a bit ahead of the others, but he's dropped behind. So yeah, if you didn't... I should have mentioned this at the start of the episode. Just a little update. If you didn't watch my NBA, and I think I mentioned it in one of my Watch Dogs videos. I should have said this in the start. I am going to slow the Forza series down a bit. As it does get a little boring and repetitive. So I'm going to do this once a week, and then the other three games I've got on my channel two times a week as this one is a car racing game and it does get a little stale and repetitive so it looks like we've got an easy easy finish coming down here now not long left and we should win this and get our nice credits we have got like a lot of late races left before we'll buy a new car like in this stage we've got a lot of races with the KTM I think we've got like seven left after this. But we could buy a new car if you want to in the comments. Oh god, I've gone on the grass. But remember, as I'm slowing this down, it will take longer now to get better cars and finish the stages. But remember, I won't be completing this game at all. When Forza Horizon 2 comes out, I'll probably be getting that on release date and I'll be making videos on that. And put in the comments if you think I should replace this with that. Or maybe just really slow these down after that. Because I'm going to be 